Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're actually going to be taking a look at a film title I created for my short film Husky. Um, I got a few questions on how I actually went about creating it and whether I used Final Cut Pro 10 to create the title. Now, in actual fact I used Adobe After Effects to create the title. The reason being is that After Effects is essentially built for motion graphics, title design as well as performing visual effects as well. Um, so it has a far more, a far greater array of tools to use um, to produce such titles with as much flexibility as possible. However, after a bit of experimentation, I started to realise that creating a title like my Husky title is more than possible inside Final Cut Pro 10. Um, just not the simplest thing to do. So we're going to attempt to do it so that you can um, have a go yourself and start experimenting with some of the different titles and filters and start to see that really your own imagination is your own um, worst enemy in that if you can think of it, I'm sure there will be a way to do it. So if we just quickly take a look at this title. Now, we're not going to be creating this fade-in because it's more than easy to do uh, with transitions, which I will go over in a different tutorial, but we are going to create the title that's split in half and sliding slightly with the texture. So the way we're going to do it is start off with a basic title. So we go into our titles over here and just choose the basic title and drag it out into our timeline. And then we're going to type husky. And then go into the inspector by clicking on this eye. And the font that I used was Futura. Um, right here. And then we're going to choose condensed medium. And also ex um, increase the tracking. And that's going to increase the distance between the letters. We're going to increase the font size. Because it's a nice important title. It needs to be nice and big. And then we're also going to change the baseline because this line is in line with the center of the screen and it's also lined horizont um, aligned horizontally as well, uh, sorry, vertically. However, we want the title to be dead center to the screen, so we are going to decrease the baseline so that the middle of the title lines up with the line and that way the title is now dead center in the screen. Um, we might want to actually go with um, the medium just to give our... Uh, title a bit more meat. Then what we're going to do is go about adding a texture to it. So the way we can add a texture is by grabbing an image in our event browser and dragging it over the top. We press N so we can align these two. You can see that the texture is going to sit on top as if it was a normal piece of footage. But we can actually use this title as what's called a Luma mask um, telling Final Cut to use our title as a reference of what we want to show from our image. And the way we do that is select the image, if we scroll down the inspector and go into compositing and under blend modes if we choose uh, stencil luma you can see we've now got a texture in our object. The other thing we want to do is because at the moment the texture was quite big and you can see that the actual details are quite large and taking up large portions of the text where if we want it to be nice have like quite a high fidelity uh, we're gonna choose this transform tool so we can decrease the size so that the font has now got lots of detail in it rather than having a stretched out image and we're gonna press done the other thing we're going to do is go into our original title and change the colour to a brownie colour. If we click on this face we can see a show option shows up, sorry, if we just hover over the face button, click on show and that's going to give us a few colour options and we want it to be a brownie colour, but not too dark because otherwise it won't show up. And that colour looks about right. And then the other thing that we're going to do is select these two layers and merge them into a compound clip. So now that title is one piece of video that we can manipulate. The first thing we're going to manipulate of it is the colour because at the moment even though that's a good baseline brown there's too, it's too dark overall so we're going to boost some of the lights by going into the colour correction and then we're going to darken some of the dark bits like this and then 
maybe boost some of the anti colors like that and then decrease the overall saturation of the title so now that's looking pretty good now we can at any point go into this by double clicking on that layer and for instance I think that the letters are too spaced out at the moment so I can go in and change the tracking very slightly and then we can click on this arrow here to go back to the timeline and now we're back where we were with the changes made and applied then we want to go about splitting this layer up so if we hold down alt um, or option we can drag this clip and create a duplicate of it which is going to go on top now what we want to do is actually uh, crop it so if we click on this crop tool you can see that we've got a few crop options here and we want to try and create some kind of angled crop like so. We press done and then you can see we've now got a line here where we can see where the image ends and then we can click on the image below and crop the bottom half grabbing this and bringing this all the way down so that the images line up press done now you can see there's a tiny bit of overlap but that's not going to be a problem then what we want to do is to the bottom half add some form of vignette as it becomes split up so if we go into our effects and choose vignette and drag that to our bottom image we can change the size of this vignette and change the fall off so that this will be slightly darker. We also want to decrease the darkness a little bit but increase, increase the blur amount. <laughs> like so. And then what we can do is animate the position of the top layer. So if we start at frame 1 by just dragging our playhead to here, click on transform and press this add a keyframe button, scroll to the end And add another keyframe and drag it over and then press and then um, press N to turn snapping off I'm sorry that doesn't actually work in the viewer and now you can see that we've actually got an animation just crop the end of this animation and now we've got a title that animates by sliding and very quickly we've created a title that is a lot more detailed than just the basic text tools then one of the other things that we want to happen is as the top title slides the bottom title becomes more blurry so we can animate a blur onto the bottom layer as well so if we type in blur into our effects and filters Oh, sorry, if we click on the blur name, you can see that they're actually named specifically. Uh, we're going to go with the Gaussian blur and bring the amount down and click on the keyframe, scroll to the end, add another keyframe, and now boost the blur. Not too much, but enough. And then what we can even do is add a keyframe for the darkness of the vignette. Scroll to the end, add another keyframe, and then increase the darkness. Like so. And now when we play it back, you can see we've got a title that slides over as if it's been sliced in half and you can see the whole disjointedness gives it an angled feel in itself um, which is always cool and that essentially forms the basis of what happens in this title um, except with After Effects allowing you to have more custom uh, 
crop and transform points, you can uh, you can create much steeper angles. Whereas we're more restricted to horizontal axis because um, because of how it works. But you can see that very quickly we've created a title that is far more complex and we can even uh, create a compound clip out of these two um, and that essentially takes all of them elements and squashes them into a single video clip which we are then again free to manipulate so we can change the color um, we could be like actually this would look good in blue um, change the overall color to a bluey color and then boost the exposure Um, and there you have it. Um, that is how you create an equivalent title, how you can start to consider all the different effects and filters and manipulation tools that Final Cut gives you and how you can combine them to create far more interesting titles than the default titles that they give you. Um, so thanks for watching. Hopefully this was useful and I'll see you guys soon with a brand new tutorial. And if you're still watching, uh, remember you can donate. There's a donate link uh, at the bottom of every video. And I'm also going to be doing a uh, campaign soon to raise money for a feature film. So if you've liked my tutorials and you'd like to support me and so I can create more tutorials for you, um, then please help out uh, funding the feature film and you'll get some goodies in return. Um, more information coming on that soon. And in the meantime, next week there will be a teaser trailer for a brand new short film that I've been working on with that local film group. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.